Let me quickly demonstrate one of the more advanced features available in Waypoint. Uh, this will involve a technique called uh, something like particle seeding or seeded particle generation, which, uh, which is used usually when lots of particles are to be generated. The idea be uh, behind seeded particle generation is, uh, as I am going to show here in illustration, is to generate the same particle stream over and over, but with uh, a slightly different random seed each time, and uh, merge the results together. <coughs> When the random seed is changed on a particle network, the overall shape of the end result will be the same, but the, individ but, uh, the individual particles will be placed slightly differently because of the uh, different randomness. So, for instance, these three particle networks are the exact same copies. The only difference between them is the random seed value and if I switch between them uh, you can see that they have the same basic shape or the, sh uh, the same overall shape but the individual but the particles themselves are placed slightly differently and the if I color each version and merge them together the result is a more dense particle cloud and even if I let's say I change some of the emission parameters the shapes remain the same I mean the overall uh, par uh, overall shape of the particle stream <coughs> okay so uh, we wouldn't like to have these uh, multiple passes s uh, to be set up by hand, so we want to generate all these uh, all these different random seeds versions uh, automatically. So uh, we have our. Uh, simulation here, our particle simulation here, and uh, what we want to do is to generate this multiple times, simulate this multiple times with a different random seed <coughs> and write it out to disk. So uh, let's create a waypoint node, call it something like uh, particle and this and activate it this is going to be a sequence that is simulated okay so far so good but uh, in this form this waypoint node is going to uh, write only a single seed to disk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the variant parameter. I'm going to use the variant parameter uh, as a random seed on the particle network. And then I use the waypoint node functionality to create a new render network or output network right here and pressing this button will create the uh, the render nodes that I need and as you as you can see uh, the waypoint node created a render network and in this render network if I go into this render network there's a wedge node created and this wedge node is already set up 
to render multiple passes uh, of my waypoint node. Okay, so uh <coughs> let's say I want to render like from zero to seven, that's eight passes. And uh I delete this network and l and I let uh, the waypoint node to create it again. I have my wedge node here from 0 to 7, that's 8 passes. And uh, let's just render this. Okay, we are done. Let's go back and let's check this out. This is one pass of the eight passes. And uh, if I go through each variant, as we can see, we can actually see the different uh, variants rendered. <coughs> okay, so the only thing left to do is to merge these variants together, which is not supported directly by the waypoint node. But what the waypoint node does support is to uh, create a Houdini node called File Merge Sub, which is exactly for this purpose to merge multiple files multiple geometry files for a single frame. Let's just press this and the waypoint node sets up for us a file merge node. Unfortunately it cannot set it up 100% so uh, the file name needs a minor adjustment like this. But once it's done, it works as expected. Like this. And instead of a single pass, we have eight passes merged, merged together resulting in a much denser uh, particle field. <coughs> okay, and the additional and the upside is that uh, once this network is set up, it's pretty straightforward to update it. So let's say I want to change the emission, change the characteristics of the emission. So I'm going to tweak, I'm going to do some tweaking to the uh, emission attributes or emission parameters. Let's say something like this. And once it's done, I just need to re-render the wedge node. The wedge node will automatically re-render all uh, seed passes for the particle. And uh, voila, we have the updated multi-pass particle. So this is one possible advanced workflow for waypoints.